Welcome to a new week of The Rundown. On this episode, sailors can now request for retirement or separation online, new fitness standards for recruits, and the Petty Officer Advancement Results Schedule has been released. The Navy released a self-service function that will allow sailors to request for retirement or separation online. The service will be available on Navy Standard Integrated Personnel System, or NSEPS, and is provided as an enhancement to this legacy system while new Sailor 2020-25 systems are being processed and finalized. Beginning January 1st, NSEPs can be used by officers to submit a voluntary request to retire or resign and by enlisted sailors to submit a request to transfer to the fleet reserves. Commands must set up their command hierarchy prior to January 1st, 2018. Directions for setting this up can be found on the NSEPs homepage. For more information, read NAVADMIN 273-17 and check out the story on Navy.mil. Beginning January 1, 2018, the Navy will require recruits to pass an initial run standard before they are able to begin basic training. The run standard for male recruits will be 16 minutes 10 seconds and 18 minutes 7 seconds for females. If a recruit fails the initial test, they will have one chance within 48 hours to retest. If they fail a second time, they will be discharged from service. Those sailors who score an outstanding high on their initial tests will be meritoriously advanced to the next pay grade upon graduation. The standard will help the Navy develop tougher, more qualified sailors before they enter the fleet. You can read more on the change in the story on Navy.mil. Quotas have been released for the E-4 through E-6 advancement tests for active duty, FTS, and sail risk sailors on All Hands Magazine. Commands will be notified of their sailors' advancements on November 21st, and the names of those advanced will be released on November 22nd. You can see the complete list of those selected from All Hands on Navy.mil. Finally, there will not be a rundown next week due to the Thanksgiving holiday. That's all for this week. For any questions, send us a message at usnpeople.fct at navy.mil. For the Chief of Naval Personnel, I'm MC2 LJ Burleson. Have a happy Thanksgiving, and thanks for watching.